four times in a row here to make Madison Plains go back to the zone because I know that they can't keep up with a man to man. Stoughton down low to uh, Losey. Then we got a foul. Joe Young across the arms there. That'll be Joe's second foul. As we see, Losey be going to line two, um, to the line shooting two. Hopefully bring him back within 11 as the score is 30 to 17 with a minute 43 remaining. That was a good look that time by Aaron Cox as he caught Mark Losey, sneaked underneath the basket. Nice pass. Losey shooting 74% from the foul line, and that's nothing but net, so he's a pretty good foul uh, shooter. Got good rotation on the ball, and uh, he does. Mark's developed into a real good player. Well, we jinked him again, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. He's three or four, though. That's not bad. An acting job there by Cox, but it didn't work, but they did get the ball back. Padded out front over to uh, Crawford. Shot out front by Pettit, short, rebound to Toops. Left-handed shot, good. Nice touch. Yeah, Robbie had a nice rebound there, had a long rebound, caught their London's players too far under. He just took it with the left hand and put it in. As we see Yoder uh, taking his time, bringing it up with just over a minute to play. The Red Raiders up by 10, 20 to 30. Long one to shot, but uh, Pettit kept him from it. We've got Yoder from the side, bank shot. Nice touch. I'll tell you, that's 10 for Rodney. and. Uh, He's shooting pretty good tonight. Yeah, he is. I don't think they expect him to score that many points, but uh, when you're hot, you're hot. Well, I'll tell you, I think Rodney needs to look for that shot a little bit more anyway going into the tournament. He's a good shot, and he can put that ball in the hole. Pass into Toops. He's up. Turn around. Good. Two in a, two in a row for uh, Toops. Brings it back within 10. That's where we talked earlier. They're catching London's guards out just a little bit too high, and they can get that they can get that 8, 12-foot shot right there in the middle. Yoder to Woodard, back out front to Parsons. London, I believe, is going to go for that last shot. Under 20 seconds remaining. Oh, and almost a steal by Cox, and he's really hustling as he knocks the ball out of bounds with 12 seconds remaining, and the fans give him some of a standing ovation, and uh, nothing wrong with that, because that's but nothing but pure hustle. That's what you like to see, out of a, especially out of a senior who's playing his last game here in the here at Madison Plains Gym. Rodney Yoder with uh, five seconds remaining. Woodard along the baseline. Long shoots no good. Cox with the rebound. And we come to the close of the first half with a score. London Red Raiders 32. The Madison Plains Eagles 22. Welcome back to uh, the ball game, folks, with uh, just under a minute remaining in uh, halftime festivities. With the score of 32-22 uh, London, we've got some uh, first half uh, stats for you from uh, Joe Mosier. Joe, um, you got some stats for us? Yeah, Steve. Uh, as I look down over the stats here, uh, first thing we see for London, Rodney Yoder was 5 for 8 in the shooting department with a total of 10 points. Well, he was hot, I'll tell you. Yeah, he was. Uh, Andy Woodard was 3 for 4 from the field and 2 for 2 from the free throw line for a total of 8 points. Ronnie Wilson was three for five from the field for six points. Uh, Ronnie's one of the two Raiders that have two personal fouls on him. Scott Ballard, two for two for a total of four points. Mark Parsons, one for two for two points. And uh, Joe Young's one for one for a total of two points. And Joe Young also has two fouls. Well, those Raiders must be shooting close to uh, 50 to 60 percent, aren't they? Well, pretty close. I didn't mark in the fellows who just shot and missed. Uh, Jeff Stoughton. One for two for two points. Uh, Nick Betts, two for three for five, or excuse me, with one for two on the free throw line for five points. Pettit has two points. Losey has five points. Crawford, two. Maxi two. Toops has four. And Betts is the only one with two fouls. Okay, well, thank you, Joe. I'll tell you, that, uh, that was an exciting first half. And uh, if Plains uh, can get hot from the outside, uh, Mike, I'll tell you, they can get themselves back in the ball game. They're not really out of it. They're only down by 10. and. Uh, they are getting uh, possession of the ball the first, uh, start of the second half, so uh, if they can get hot, I think they can get right back in it. London in that 2-3 uh, zone again. There you can see right there what Madison Plains is trying to do, trying to cut, make that cutter come low and then high. Well, Stoughton uh, 
was trying to pass, but uh, it was off of Wilson, I believe. In for uh, London starting the second half, we got Wilson, Reynolds, Woodard, Yoder, and Ballard. And for uh, Plains, who we got there, Mike? We got Stoughton, Losey, Vance, Pettit, and Betts. Take it right back to their original starting lineup. Uh, Vance and Betts didn't get to play much. I think both of them had two fouls in the first half, and they kind of sat and watched most of the first half. Well, uh, Coach, Coach Ellis wanted to uh, save them, I'm sure, for the second half and hope he didn't get too far behind. As you see, Losey uh, bring him within eight. They needed that shot to get off to a good, good start this second half. Uh, as you see Madison Plains come out and try to play man-to-man -man here. And I believe we got a foul on Jeff Reynolds already. Now I believe, is that Jeff's third? Second. I'll have to check that. I think that's his second. Well, I'll tell you, Jeff's having a rough night tonight. Uh, he was having trouble hanging on to the ball the first half. He did get a few key rebounds, but uh, he's having uh, trouble. And that was his third. I thought it was. And uh, he's going to have to be careful and not pick up another quick one as Ballard almost steals the ball. And it'll be out of bounds, two planes. Good hustle there by Scott Ballard. As we see, it uh, looks like Pettit taking the ball out of bounds in the Stoughton. Vance to Stoughton, almost traveled. And well, I believe we got another foul here. I'll tell you, the referees are, no, or was the clock not running? I believe we have a problem with the clock. As you see, the referee over the scores table uh, conferring with the scorekeeper. Now we see uh, coaches uh, from the London team, uh, Coach Roden and, um, and uh, Brett uh, Stouffer and John Miller. I'm not sure what the problem is. Do you, am I? I think they had a problem with the, the clock not starting and, and they stopped at the wrong time. And uh, I think that's what they're discussing now because I think the score's right. I don't believe the score is right, uh, Mike. They got 43 to 24. I'm not sure. I believe it's 32. There we go. I didn't think they were up at 19. <laughs> as, as the two referees uh, confer, okay, here we go again. Vance to Stoughton. Almost walked there, I'll tell you. Mostly looking for the shot. Pettit with a fake. Plains moving the ball real well, but uh, just as I say that, they throw it across the court, and I believe out, out on London, though, so uh, they will get the ball back. London with a very aggressive 2-3 uh, zone, Mike. Yeah, they're spread out high. The only shots Madison Plains has been able to get is in about a 10-footer in the paint, other than taking the 20-footers, which haven't been too successful with. Right there is where they need to get the ball every time. As you see, uh, Nick Betts. Shooting in, the, shooting in the green paint there, and uh, Plains almost stole the ball. Stoughton almost got it again. So uh, he's really hustling out there. As we see Yoder over to Ballard, Ballard off baseline. Didn't draw iron, Wilson with the rebound. Wilson up, good. Ronnie Wilson, I believe, now with eight points. Ronnie is getting hot. He's, yeah. get, he's getting warmed up. Yeah, Ronnie's picked up his tempo a little bit. He's pushing himself some, and uh, that was a big bucket right there. Put him up by uh, eight. As we see Pettit in the paint, and I believe we got a foul on Jeff Reynolds. Four on Jeff. Uh, I think you guys saw Troy Vance. I think that's going to be his third. Uh, as they were battling for position, I think it could have gone either way, Steve. And I think they called it on Troy Vance. Uh, you're exactly right. And uh, I'm not sure Troy was uh, agreed with that, but uh, that was his third foul. And I'm not sure whether Coach Ellis is going to keep him in there. But uh, as you see Yoder bring the ball over and pass it to Wilson over to Ballard. There again, they're caught Madison Plains in a man-to-man. -man. Look for him to look inside this time for Woodard. Wilson all along the baseline, no good. Controlled by Pettit. Pettit four on one. Nice, nice defense there by uh, Scott Ballard to break that up. Mike hustled back and uh, got into the passing lane and got the ball. Yeah, that was. He has four on one that time, and it was broke up nicely. Yoder wanted that shot, but uh, Stoughton was right on him. Nice pass underneath the Ballard, but he's too far underneath the bucket and couldn't get it in. That was a nice cut and nice pass that time. He just found himself just a little bit too far under. 20 footer by Lose. Good. 
his second bucket of the half. Madison Plains is going to need his scoring to uh, stay in the game here. And they're only down six, so uh, they're in this pressure man-to-man -man right here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, Yoder trying to get pass into Woodard. Couldn't get it. Broken up by Pettit. Pettit tries the lane. Nice drive. Good. That was a really good driver, Mike, I'll tell you. And that was. You see London calling a timeout here. They need this timeout. Uh, Madison Plains has picked up the tempo a little bit and uh, starting to push a little. Well, I'll tell you, Madison Plains has outscored London 8-2 to two in the second half, and they haven't missed a shot. So, like I said, if they can get heated up, they can get back in the ball game, which they are. They're only down four. Yeah, their, their field goal percentage has definitely picked up as they didn't shoot very well the first half, but uh, I think the key to the, right now is they're getting the ball where they need to get it and to run with it. They're getting the opportunities to run and push a little bit, and I think if they can get London in this up-tempo type of game, that uh, it'll make a lot better game of it. Well, you're exactly right, Chris. Uh, sometimes that eliminates some of that beef that London's got underneath the boards, and uh, if you have a good transition game, you get down the court faster than they are, you can get a pretty decent shot most of the time. Yeah, I think this time you see that Coach Roden took that timeout. What he'll do, he'll set up a play if Madison Plains is in this man-to-man, -man, and he'll he'll post somebody down inside, and uh, and probably Andy Woodard, and get a good shot. Well, as you see, uh, Andy, the instant replay here, is Andy, uh, Yoder tried to get the ball inside, and Pettit stole it, went down the floor, laid it up and in. And I'll tell you, that was a really good play and uh, really a needed play by uh, Plains. Yeah, though, they're going to need a few more of those plays right here. Is uh, you got to kind of suck it up here and play a little man-to-man -man and uh, really get tough down here on the defensive end. Okay, we got the ball to Parsons. I see Mark Parsons in for uh, Scott Ballard. Parsons to Wilson as uh, we see Plains in on man-to-man, -man, uh, Mike. I'm kind of surprised at that. Wilson, along the baseline, up, no good, rebound, Stoughton. Little guy got up pretty good that time. There again, I uh, thought they'd go inside and try to get it. Stoughton drives down, misses the layup. It's pulled down by Andy Woodard, and it's stolen by Mark Losey. No good, Pettit with a rebound, up, no good. Another offensive rebound, up, and good. Good, good board work by Plains. I'll tell you, they were not going to be denied on that, and that brings them within two, 34-32 with just over four minutes remaining in the third period. Well, they're working their way right back into it, Steve. I think uh, Coach Ellis woke them up at halftime in there and told them we're going to play man-to-man -man and get out and do it. As you see Wilson, uh, Ronnie Wilson driving the baseline, puts it up and in. Raiders up by four. Stolen by Woodard. Woodard looking for uh, somebody coming in, and we got Wilson as a trailer. Lays it up with his left hand, no good, and a foul on, I believe, Losey. Blocking foul. Yeah, that was a foul on Losey that time. I don't. He really didn't need to do that. I don't think Ronnie Wilson. He was so far out of control. He wasn't going to make that shot anyway. That was a second foul on uh, Losey, and uh, really, I'm not too sure uh, the move that uh, Ronnie put on him that time. I'm not sure if that was the right move, Mike. Uh, I tell you, he uh, he didn't really seem to be under control with the ball. Yeah, he kind of caught himself out of control there as Madison Plains substitution came in. Aaron Cox came in for Troy Vance. As you folks could see there on the instant replay, uh, as we were talking uh, about Ronnie was kind of out of control with the ball. And I'm not sure what we have here. I believe we got a technical on. I'm not sure if it's on the bench or on a player, but... Uh, I couldn't understand the uh, announcer there. Could you understand what he said, Mike? I'm not sure what he called, but I think he might have called an intentional foul on that time, and uh, or, or an undercut foul, which require, which allows the other team a one-shot foul shot and the ball. But we'll see what happens here. Now that had to be a technical foul as uh, Yoder uh, shot it and put it in, and now. Of course, they're not in the one or not in the one and one, so uh, London takes the ball out of bounds. Wilson out front to Young. Young looking for Parsons. Parsons looking for uh, Wilson. Ronnie wants that ball, I tell you. Rodney from the side, he likes that shot, but he just didn't have it. Drives the baseline, looking for Young. Out front to Parsons. Parsons with a shot, good. I'll tell you, they hit the open man, Mike, and. Uh, make those kind of shots, you're going to uh, win a lot of your ball games. Yeah, that was good ball movement right there by the Red Raiders. A lot of good patience that time as they look for the open man, and he hit about the 15-footer. Stoughton driving the uh, lane, didn't have anything. Back out front to Cox. Over to Stoughton. Losey likes it. 
No good. Short. Rebound. Woodard. We got a pushing off foul of Andy Woodard on that. I'll tell you, that could have went either way. Yeah, that was a tough call right there on Andy Woodard. As, uh, him and Aaron Cox were fighting for the ball that time. That could have gone either way, and that's there, Andy Woodard's second foul. We apologize for the video problems. We will correct it as soon as possible. Andy Pettit throws the ball into Losey with about a 22-footer. No good. Parsons with the rebound. It looks like a foul on uh, Nick Betts, I believe. His third in the mic. Yeah, I believe that's his third foul. Is, uh, the, him and Vance both now have three fouls for the Madison Plains. And still a common foul as uh, you see Ronnie Wilson taking the ball out of bounds. Mark Parsons, 6'4", senior, bring the ball up the court. Guarded closely by Pettit. Down along the baseline to Wilson. Up, short. Parsons almost the rebound. Pettit controls it. Back out front to Stoughton. London in a 2-3 zone. Betts to the baseline. Bats, nice shot. Yeah, Betts needed that shot as he got hot early and made about six points early in the game. I think that's his first bucket since, but they're going to need his scoring too from there. Just under two and a half minutes remaining in the third period. And you see Mark Parsons driving the sideline. Oh, nice look there by uh, Joe Young, I'll tell you. He was looking for Andy Woodard along the baseline underneath the bucket, and he saw him, got it to him, and got a foul. I believe on uh, 22 Pettit, Andy's third, I believe. Second. Team third foul. Raiders up by five, 39-34. Inbounds pass to Young, and he just laid it up and in. I'll tell you, with those long arms, it's hard to block that shot. Yeah, that time steal, I think Madison plays didn't know if they were in a man or a zone on an out-of-bounds play, and they just lobbed it to Joe Young, and like you say, with those long arms, put it in. Well, those it. long arms just blocked that shot as Reynolds controls it. Cox going for the steal. Yoder along the sideline. Oh, he sees Reynolds underneath. I'll tell you, he traveled, but uh, that was a nice save by Jeff Reynolds because uh, that ball was going out of bounds. and uh, He made a nice save, but he just took a little uh, bunny hop there, and uh, they caught him. Yeah, that was a good look that time. That was a great catch by uh, number 33. And Jeff Reynolds, as he reached down, caught it, but he did come down. He traveled. I believe got a hacking foul there on, uh, on, it, on Rodney Yoder, his second. Looks like uh, Plains is looking for that uh, cutter across the paint there and uh, hopefully get that shot, Mike. Yeah, as we talked earlier, that's, uh, that's what they're going to have to do to open up, uh, to get those shots in a little closer. They're going to have to take those shots in the paint right there. Oh, hey, Toops is three for three. The boy's putting the ball in the hole tonight. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, Joe corrects me there. He's three for four. Thank you, Joe. Parsons guarded closely by uh, Pettit. Plains is in that man-to-man -man out front of Parsons. Over to Wilson. Wilson wants a shot. He wants it. Nothing there, though. Looking for Reynolds across the paint. Wasn't there. Yoder. You see here, London's being real patient. They're looking for that shot inside on the post-up. Parsons with a shot. Nothing but net on that one. Mark Parsons, 6'4", senior with uh, about six points. Yes. Jeff Stoughton, over to Crawford. Cox wants it. Up, little short. Rebound to Reynolds. Tay Reynolds is hitting the boards now. Wilson slowing the tempo down. I'll tell you, London doesn't want that fast tempo, Mike. They, they want that ball control uh, offense where, you know, they look for that 15-foot uh, or nothing beyond 15 feet. and. Uh, I think this time they caught Madison Plains in the man again. They're going to work it down, look for the last shot here. So they're going to be real patient right here. As we are under 20 seconds remaining, 43-36 London. When we get to about five, we'll count it down for you. As Wilson takes it with 11, and it's good. It's around the top of the key. Puts them up by nine, five, four, three, two, one. It'll count. No good. And at the close of the third quarter, the score, London Red Raiders 45, the Madison Plains Eagles 36. Joe, let's see if we can get some third quarter uh, stats here. 
Well, there in the third quarter, Ronnie Wilson for London scored six points. That puts him, makes him leading scorer for London with 12, and Rod Yoder uh, has 11. For the uh, Mass and Plains Golden Eagles, Pettit has a total of six points, and uh, Losey and Betts are tied with nine points. Okay, thank you, Joe. I'll tell you, um, with personal fouls, what kind of condition we got with personal fouls? Well, for uh, Mass and Plains, Vance has three, and uh, Betts has three. And for London, Reynolds has three. Okay, thank you, Joe. I'll tell you, Mike, um, with London 12 and seven, and Plains nine and 10, let's let the fans know um, this is, I believe, the last game of the season for both teams. And uh, before we go to that, let's see, we got the instant replay here of uh, the final few seconds of uh, this third period, as you see the pass over, no, I believe that's Parsons' shot, and it's up and good. Let's tell the fans here uh, where the uh, teams will be playing in the first round of the tournament. Yeah, Madison Plains will play Marysville at 8 o'clock Tuesday night at Westland High School, and London will play next Saturday night at Westland, play Centennial at 8 o'clock. Okay, as you see, uh, Yoder into Reynolds, up and good. Puts the Raiders up by 11. Nice pass. Yeah, that right there was exactly what they did against Dublin last night, and I think you'll see a lot of that this fourth quarter. Nice steal there. Good anticipation there by uh, Parsons. Long baseball pass to Yoder. Up and in, and they're up by 13. As you just might see a uh, timeout here real quick here in the fourth period. Yeah, I think one more basket. You'll see a timeout. Uh, Madison Plains has to get back. Rodney Yoder has a good athletic move that time. That's as we see um, Plains bringing it within 11. Andy Pettit hit that last basket in the, in the paint there. Yoder looking underneath to Reynolds. Nice pass, but I believe Ballard was on the uh, baseline there, Mike. There again, all he had to do that time was catch it. He had an easy shot. All he had to do was turn and put it in as it slipped through his fingers. Madison Plains inbounds and Jeff Stoughton bringing it up. Okay, London in that 2-3 zone. Pretty aggressive. Pet it along the baseline, drives it up, no good. Young with a rebound over the Yoder. Yoder looking down court, I'll tell you, they're pushing that ball down court now, Mike. Yoder in the paint, looking for Reynolds. Ah, it was kind of a, he was looking for him, but um, kind of lacks a days to go pass on that yeah, one. Yeah, he's looking a little bit too much for him right there. He was expecting him to be there and he wasn't there, so uh, we'll see. What oh, nice look there by Cox. Nice shot by Andy Pettit. Plains has been pretty successful tonight, running that little baseline cutter, and, he, and instead of going all the way through, he just stops at the basket and looks for a little ball cut right there. Well, I'll tell you, Mark Parsons is having trouble with the ball because I'll tell you, Andy Pettit's putting a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, I think that's what the Plains is going to have to do this last quarter if they want to be successful. They're going to have to put a lot of pressure on the ball, stay in this man-to-man -man defense. It's going to wear them down. They're probably going to have to use some substitutes here soon, but uh, they've been pretty effective with it. Well, I'll tell you, we got Wilson, Young, Reynolds along the baseline. Yoder and Parsons out front as we see a shot by Pettit. No good. Rebound, Young. How many rebounds he's got tonight, but he's uh, pulling down a few in the middle right there. Oh, he's got a basket full, I'll tell you. Wilson over to Yoder. Yoder, look, Parsons. Back out front to Wilson. That's two. Oh, in and out. I believe we got a showing off foul against Jeff Reynolds. That's Jeff's fourth. I'll tell you, Jeff is having a tough time tonight. He's had two, uh, two of his four fouls have been pushing off fouls. Still a common foul, not into one one That's the third team foul. Team fourth, excuse me. Jeff Stoughton, bring the ball up the court. Looking for Toops in the middle. He's hit three airs. Crawford from the side, no good. I think that was a little too long that time. I think Madison Plains will be looking for something a little closer this next time. Wilson looking underneath for Reynolds. Wasn't there. Parsons to Reynolds. Nice look, nice shot. I'll tell you, that uh, that was a nice pass by Jeff Reynolds, and Joe Young just turned around and put it in the hole. There's that inside game we were talking about earlier. And As we see Mark Parsons stealing the ball, and we got a foul on, oh my goodness. Grabbed his arm. I'm not sure about that call, but we've got to go with the ref. As we see Andy Woodard coming in for Jeff Reynolds. Jeff with a tough night, but uh, 
I'm sure he'll come back strong against Centennial. You know, we might mention as you, uh, about the refs. You know, they've been had a pretty good uh, game tonight. We haven't talked too much about them, so they must be doing a pretty good job. Well, I'll tell you, there's another turnover by uh, Plains looking for that uh, baseline cut again. As you see Andy Pettit, I'll tell you, he's putting pressure on Mark Parsons. Mark's breaks at this time, no problem. Looking for Joe Young underneath, not there. Back out front to Yoder. I'll tell you, Yoder controls this ball club. As you see him shoot the bank shot, no good. Rebound to Stoughton. Stoughton pushing it up court to Pettit. Nice drive, blocked by Young. And they say they got him with the body. Pretty clean from up here, didn't it, Steve? Yeah, I thought it was pretty clean, but he had a better angle. We didn't have a real good angle, but... But um, as we see, uh, Andy Pettit be going to the line shooting too. Andy, Andy's only shooting about uh, 58, 60 percent, I believe, from the uh, foul line uh, this year. As this game goes on, Steve, as you see him make the first foul shot, uh, that brings him within eight, I think. It was I guess it closes to 10. This game's been just staying right there. Madison Plains needs to close this gap and get the crowd involved a little bit. You're right. As you see, uh, Andy missing his second free throw. Young with the rebound. Yeah, they're going to have to get this to an up-tempo ball game and get back in this, I believe. They can't, they can't wait, uh, wait too much longer. As you see, a steal there trying to get the ball into Woodard and just couldn't get it in there. Nice pass there to Pettit, but I believe he traveled. I I don't know how he got that one through there, Mike. I don't know, but that was like threading the needle that time as uh, he took the, as Jeff stayed through that pass and Andy Pettit took one too many steps before his hook shot. Okay, as you see, uh, the two uh, two two one uh, press against with the Eagles, but uh, Rodney Yoder didn't have much trouble with it. Rodney slows it down. Rodney controls that ball club. I'll tell you, as you see, he looks for Young underneath. We're gonna have a charging foul. Joe just didn't know the guy was there. It was good defense there by uh, Cox. Yeah, that was a good look that time, but that was Rod Yoder's fault. That wasn't Joe Young's fault. That was Rod Yoder's fault for throwing it in there when Cox had established his position. That's Joe Young's fourth foul, team fifth. As you see, uh, our two big boys, as far as uh, London's uh, concerned, with four fouls. We got Reynolds and Joe Young with four fouls. In the paint to Toops. Going the baseline to Pettit. Cox likes a shot. No good. Rebound, Stoughton. Up. No good. Fight for it. Stoughton with it. No good. Rebound, Young. Wilson the Yoder. Into Woodard. And we've got a jump ball. Be honest with you, Mike. I didn't see two guys handle have the ball at the same time. Uh, I think it happened a little too quick for the ref that time. It does go to Madison Plains, but again, we'll talk about London's inside game. They've had the chances. Their balls just they just can't hang on to them in there. Stoughton, nice pass to Betts. Up, no good. Rebound, Young, and uh, we got a foul on Toops, I believe. We'll have Joe Young shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. I tell you, he's been on on every rebound this second half, uh, Steve. As I think it is a common foul on Madison Plains as Ronnie Wilson would be taking the ball out on the side. Wilson into Yoder. Good pressure there by Plains. Almost got the steal. Nice pass to Woodard. Okay, that's an all high pass there. Yeah, that's a great pass right there by Ronnie Wilson. Have to quite most give him one of those points out of them too. I'll tell you, London's looking for that open man as we see uh, Pettit shooting from the side. The out of bounds to Plains. Rodney can't believe that one. Well, I think if Rodney, if he didn't hit the ball, I think he'd have tried to save it. Uh, he thought that, uh, he was going to give it to London as we see. As Troy we Vance check back in for uh, Andy Pettit. Stoughton in the tubes. Got Vance driving the baseline. No good. And I believe we got Betts over the back of Joe Young. And it'd be a one and one for Joe Young. As we see with 307 remaining in the ball game. 53-41 Red Raiders. And that's the fourth foul, I believe, on uh, Betts.
as Losey checks back in the game for Robbie Toops. As, uh, we see Steve, this game's just still, it's just dragging on here with just a little over three minutes to go. Madison Plains is down by 12, could be down by 14 here. They've got to get, they've got to get the breaks, they've got to play a little better defense and get the crowd involved if they want to uh, make any game at all of it. Joe Young missed the first end of that one to one. Rebound to Stoughton as he drives the lane. Nice drive up and good. Brings them back within 10, so that's what they had to do. Yeah, right there, Steve. That's exactly what they had to do. That's four, Stoughton's got four points now. Nice pass there by Parsons to Young and good. I'll tell you, the Red Raiders are getting the ball down the floor in good shape, and they're hitting that open man. Yeah, they can't trade buckets with them right here. That was a nice, nice pass in, uh, in there, but we've got a foul on Cox as he happened to slide underneath uh, Rodney Yoder. No, no intention there at all, but... Uh, no, it's a good thing he fouled him right there because uh, number 23 for the, for the Red Raiders, Mark Parsons was all alone underneath, so he, if he hadn't fouled him, he had a sure two points. As you see, um, Rodney uh, taking his time and uh, concentrating here on his foul shot. Rodney's... Uh, not shooting quite as well as he did last year. He shot in the 90 percentile last year, but this year he's around 80, I believe. And uh, as he shoots the first one up and good, had good rotations. The only thing, the only thing that uh, they got, as you see, the foul being occurred here on the instant replay. Cox going underneath uh, Rodney. Rodney shoots a little short. Rebound, Vance. Vance gets the ball up the floor fast, over to Stoughton. They gotta get some shots up. Oh, nice steal there by Wilson. I believe we got another foul on Cox. Yeah, there again, uh, you can see Madison Plains, they've gotta, they've gotta hurry, they've gotta get a quick shot, but they've gotta be more careful with the ball. As you see, uh, Ronnie Wilson will go to the foul line, but if Cox hadn't fouled him, it would have been a three on one break. So it's probably a good thing Cox did foul Ronnie Wilson and make him shoot two at the line. That's the second foul on uh, Cox, as Wilson will be going to the line, shooting one on one. For London, we do have Wilson, Yoder, Parsons, Young, and Woodard. Wilson shoots the first one up. No good. As Vance controls it. Over to Stoughton. Nice look underneath the Losey. Up and good. Nice pass by Jeff Stoughton. As you see, a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Press by uh, Plains in. Losey puts it up and good. Brings it within nine, 56, 47. And I believe uh, it's another turnover. No. Got a timeout in London there. Is, uh, I believe Ron Wilson was trying to get a timeout. He did. Yeah, With 2.07 remaining, Mike, the score is 56 for the London Red Raiders, 47 for the Mass Plains Golden Eagles. Uh, I believe Joe's got some stats for us, uh, Mike, so I'll go to him for right now. Well, we got a Losey right now from Madison Plains. He's made four of uh, seven shots here in the second half, and he's the leading scorer for Madison Plains with 13 points. And Pettit's coming in second right now with a total of 10. Okay, thank you, uh, Joe. We're trying to get the instant replay of that inbounds pass right there, that last one on the Ronnie Wilson. He kind of got tied, and uh, right here, you'll watch this. Watch him try to make a little behind the pass, get a little bit too fancy, and... He paid for it. I'm sure he's hearing about it in the timeout. And right as you saw him trying to, and he did get the timeout there, but almost made another turnover. So their patience are tried a little bit, as they're, but they're still up 11. They're still up nine points right now, but they needed that timeout, Steve. Well, I'm sure that uh, Coach Roden is uh, letting his players know that, uh, hey, there's plenty of time here to, for, to let Madison Plains back in this ball game. And uh, he's just trying to calm them down and uh, get their heads together. We'll have Mark Parsons taking the ball out of bounds with a man-to-man -man, uh, press here. They've got Rodney Yoder trapped in the corner. Rodney can't get rid of it. Long pass to Wilson. Wilson down to Young. I think he was going in to slam that one. But uh, he's got fouled by Cox, and I believe that's his third foul. I think Joe Young's going to slam that one. Yeah, I think he had ideas, didn't he? Uh, he saw it in his eyes, but uh, that was a good foul by Aaron Cox there to make him shoot two foul shots. And you saw a close up there by uh, of Aaron Cox. I'll tell you, he he thought he had a clean uh, block there, but 
I believe he got uh, Joe on the arms, and uh, he'd be going shooting two foul shots with a minute 58 remaining, lining up by nine. Just a little too hard on that one. Yeah, they always say if you foul him and he's got a layup and he doesn't, and he doesn't make one of them, well, that was a good foul. So that's a good foul by Aaron Cox. Well, as you can see there on the on the on your TV, folks, that uh, Joe's just a little disgusted there with himself. He he knows he's a better foul shooter than that. Missed both of them. But big rebound by Ronnie Wilson and a foul on Vance, I believe. And I'll tell you, he thought he had all ball. Yeah, that was a tough call right there. As uh, as Nick Betts there was trying to say that they were over the back that time. That's a tough call. Good rebound by Ronnie Wilson. That's what makes him such a good player. He's got a head for the game. He knows where he's supposed to be and at what time. And uh, I think Ronnie will make a good college ball player one of these days. What's well, fourth foul there on uh, on Vance and uh, Ronnie is such a versatile player. You know, I mean, uh, he can play guard and uh, he's averaging around, I believe, 16 points a game this year. He can play guard forward, hits the boards well. As you can see, he has a very good foul shot touch and uh, puts the Raiders up by 10 with a fifth, minute 56 remaining. Hey, you're right, Steve. He's going he's gonna to make somebody a good college player uh, next year. Well, I'll tell you, I talked to R Ronnie uh, a couple weeks ago, and he's leaning toward uh, one of the academies, so uh, I believe it's the Naval Academy. As you see, Losey with a shot, no good, rebounded Young. We got a foul on Aaron Cox, I believe. And Aaron just can't believe that one. He's he's really hustling in there, and uh, I believe that's his fourth. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. It's got four. Is this coming down to a little foul shooting contest? We got to say that uh, Joe Young's played pretty good because he's got how many rebounds, Steve? Oh, Joe's got at least uh, 11 or 12 rebounds. I'll tell you. Hey, okay, Joe wants to put these free throws in because he missed his last two. Oh, it rolled out but came back in. Puts him up by 11, 58, 47, minute 46 remaining. Joe takes his time up. Oh, Wilson got up high. Puts it in, bank shot. Puts him up 60 to 47. I'll tell you, that might have broke Campbell's back right there. Yeah, I think it did. That uh, Ronnie Wilson now has got 15 points. So he's just one away from his average. Nice drive here by Vance, but he just couldn't get the ball to go in the hole. We got a mad scramble. First and 10 at midcourt. <laughs> I think they did call traveling that time on number 23, Mark Parsons. So it will be the Madison Plains Eagles balls. We have Eric Crawford. Checking in the game for number 44, Mark Losey. As we wind down here, we got a minute 27 to go. Uh, London's up 13. Planes will be inbounding from the sidelines. Uh, we'll have a short time out here for the ref to wipe up a little sweat on the floor. Again, we'd like to tell you folks, um, next Saturday at 8 o'clock, London Red Raiders will be playing Centennial at Westland High School in Columbus. In the first round of... Uh, the high school tournament action. And the Plains will be playing Marysville at 8 o'clock Tuesday at Westland. Back to live action. Here we go. Cox with about 25 footer. Another mid net. Brings him within 11. Timeout. London. I'm not sure about that timeout, Mike. Well, I think Madison Plains called it after they made the bucket there. They, uh, they wanted to get a defense set up. They're down 11 points with a minute 17. I think what you'll see a full court press, and once the ball comes in bounds, the only chance the Plains has got right now is the foul. And uh, I think they'll probably foul Joe Young or uh, Andy Woodard, probably one of the bigger guys, if they get a chance to touch the ball. I don't think you'll see him foul Ron Wilson or um, Rod Yoder in this situation. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I'd say the person to foul, not to uh, put the pressure on him, but uh, Joe is having a little trouble from the line. He has missed, I believe, three or four in a row. And, and uh, it could put some pressure on him. I think he's one for four here, second half. But but uh, I think, like you said, they'll go for the steal. If they don't get that inbound steal, then they're going to have to foul somebody. And uh, hopefully, uh, hope that uh, London can't uh, make their foul shots and come down, and put some points uh, on the yeah, board. Yeah, that's right. And I'm sure Monty wrote in that timeout has uh, put Joe Young back here toward the back where he won't be handled. 
Once again, we apologize for the video problems. We will correct them as soon as possible. Cards can't get it. Joe will get it, but the Plains has probably been told to foul uh, Joe Young if they can. As you see, Parsons taking the ball out of bounds. Long pass to Wilson, gets it in. Over to Yoder, back to Wilson. The Parsons. Parsons drives the lane. Up, no good. Woodard with a rebound. Up, no good. Young with a rebound. Up and good. I'll tell you, the offensive boards were uh, good to the Raiders that time. There's our rebounding king again. As you see a foul on Andy Woodard, uh, on Aaron Cox, who's driving the baseline. It'll be one and one. Uh, that's his third foul, Andy Woodard. Uh, Cox will be going to the line, shooting a one and one with 58 seconds to go. London 62, Madison Plains 49. Well, I'll tell you, uh, some of the uh, the capacity crowd is leaving now. I think they're they're thinking right now that uh, London does have this one wrapped up. As we see, uh, Aaron Cox going to the line, shooting, making the first one, brings him within 12. Of course, here's the time to uh, score the points when that clock's not running and, and they need all of them they can get. Cox up, good. Brings it within 11. Parsons trying to get it in. Three, four, just barely got it. We got a blocking foul, I believe, on Betts, and I think that's his fifth. I'm not sure on that one, Mike, is... Uh, is that Nick Betts' yeah, fifth? Yeah, that's his fifth foul as he's coming out and uh, can't see who they're going to put in. But this will be uh, London's 10th attempt at the foul line this half, and the Madison Plains just shot four. They're three for four. And uh, London's shooting a good percentage right here. Rodney Yoder is from the foul line. He's shooting about 75% from the line, so he's not really the man Madison Plains wanted to foul in this situation. No, not hardly, as, uh, as Nick Betts uh, did foul out, and, and he's being replaced by uh, Losey. And uh, there's some good things coming from Nick next year as he is only a junior and uh, he's a good little ball player and uh, I think there'll be some good things coming from him for uh, the Golden Eagles. As you see, Yoder, nothing but net on that foul shot. Puts the Raiders up by 12. Yoder, he's three for four this half from the foul line. He's uh, trying to make a four for five, go 80%. Uh, that's a little above his average, so he'll be pleased. Cox in quickly to Vance. Pettit driving the baseline. Up. London staying away. Don't foul. Want to foul him. Young with a rebound. Yoder brings it up the sideline. They're going to have to foul. As Andy Pettit did. And uh, of course, here again, Yoder's not the person to foul because he can't hit those foul shots. No, that's right, Steve. They have to in this in this situation when you're behind. That's Andy Pettit's third foul, by the way. But in this situation, you have to realize who you want to foul and who you don't want to foul. Or uh, you can just dig your hole a little bit deeper each time down the court. They need to be fouling a big guy, Joe Young, Andy Wood, or somebody like that. They don't need to be fouling guards. First thing is, uh, they're not letting those big boys. Hey, we jinxed it. Rodney on that one. Pettit drives the lane. Up, no good. Rebound to Woodard, and he's cleared out of there, <laughs> I tell you. He's a big boy to be going down on the on the floor like that. Somebody, oh no, wait a minute here. Yeah, yeah that's right. There's a foul on Andy Pettit at that time. Uh, that's his fourth foul as Andy Woodard will get into the line shooting a one on one with 35 seconds to go, lining up by 13. Would like to add that Nick Betts did uh, lead the ball game with nine points this evening, and he did uh, contribute on the boards, played a real fine ball game. Andy's shooting about. Uh, 45, 50% from the foul line, up and good. Looked about like 100%er there, didn't it? Usually how it goes, we see a little replay there of the uh, of the foul committed by Aaron Cox on Andy Woodard as he uh, makes his first one. As you see a close up there of Andy with shooting his second foul shot, up, a little short. Rebound, Pettit. Up quickly, drives the lane. And that was first and ten on that one, I'm telling you. Uh, Steve, I'm not sure what uh, Andy wanted to do with it that time. It looked like he was going to shoot it, but, uh, yeah, he was way out of control that time. And he's replaced by number 51, Eric Crawford. Also, uh, Andy Witter was replaced by uh, 25, Scott Ballard. Vance shoots, no good. Rebound, Wilson. Pass to Yoder. Pa Yoder lays it up. Good. 67-51, Red Raiders with 15 seconds remaining. 
Vance into Toops. Can Toops hit it again? Yeah. Hey, he's about four for five tonight from right there. Yeah, Robbie's done his part. It's uh, just the question of everybody else. As we see a foul call there on uh, number, we'll check the number. But anyways, Rod Yoder will be going to the foul line shooting. As we see number 43 checking into the game. Chad Potter, number 45, Shane Ams. We see from Madison Plains, number 14, James Lanham. He's a junior. 67, 53, Red Raiders. As we have a violation on number 45, uh, Shane I Ams. Imes, excuse me, and uh, of course that's one way to get attention, I guess, you know, four seconds remaining. Toops with about 20 footer, no good. And that's the end of the ball game to this Madison County rivalry. Final score is 67-53 in favor of the London Red Raiders. Before we sign off tonight, we'd like to get a few stats in here, Mike, and uh, I'll turn it over to Joe. Well, thank you, Steve, and uh, run down the total points here scored. Jeff Stoughton for Madison Plains scored four. Losey had 13. Betts had nine. Pettit with 11 points. Cox with two. Crawford with two. Maxey with two. And Toops shooting four for five at a total of eight points. For London, Yoder led all scores with 16 points, followed by Ronnie Wilson's 14, and Joe Young's 10, with Andy Woodard in there with 11 points. Filling out the scoring for London, Parsons had six, Ballard had four, and Reynolds had two. Well, Steve, as we uh, as the game ends, we'd like to take this time and uh, wish both teams good luck in the tournament. As uh, Plains will play Tuesday, London will play next Saturday. And uh, to talk about this game, well, what is there to say? You know, it was a typical rivalry game. Uh, I don't think it was quite what either team expected. It wasn't really that good a floor game. A lot of turnovers, a lot of foul shots. Um, shooting percentages probably wasn't that good. But uh, the, the good crowd, crowd never was into the game. They never made a factor at all into the game. Um, I think Coach Roden will be pleased after coming off of last night's win at Dublin and then just coming out of here with a win tonight. You know, uh, after, you're, you're used to a big downfall after a big win like that. And uh, I think Coach Roden was, will be pleased. He'll have a whole week of practice next week uh, to get him ready for Centennial. As far as Madison Plains is concerned, uh, it's a tough loss for them. Uh, they have two days now to get ready to play their tournament. They can win that game uh, against Marysville and then go on and, and go on into the tournament. They can forget about the season. It wasn't a bad season, uh, but the red best could be yet to come. Uh, the tournament's something you want to get excited about and uh, feel good about going into. So I think Coach Ellis, on Monday, he'll have them ready to go to play Tuesday. Well, Mike, I tell you, both teams are notorious for uh, getting hot in tournaments. Uh, there's been teams at both schools that have had losing records go to the tournament and go far in a tournament. So uh, anything can happen. It's an, it's an all-new season now. You know, the, the first half of the season really is over now. And uh, as far as you're fighting for the league and and uh, try to get seated as high as you can in the tournament. And and uh, they're going to both play good ball games, I'm sure, uh, this week. London will uh, go into it uh, into their tournament uh, game 13 and 7, and uh, Plains will be going in 9 and 11. So both schools have had a, uh, a good season, and uh, we both uh, we wish them uh, both luck. And uh, I think uh, London and they might be a little disappointed with this season because uh, there was a lot to be expected from them. They know they did have some uh, returning players back, and uh, quite a few of them, and. Uh, they were expecting to win, I think, a few more ball games, but uh, there's a lot of teams who would like to be 13 and 7 right now going into tournament play. So uh, I'll tell you before we uh, sign off here, I'd like to thank a few of the people. Um, we had Jack Rowley down on the floor camera, and who did a real good job tonight, and Kramer Burks up here on the uh, up above camera, and uh, of course uh, John Mosier, he was the one who's doing all the switching and uh, all the productive work up here for us, and uh, Joe Mosier on the stats and. Uh, of course, uh, Mike doing the uh, collar and myself doing the play-by-play. -play. So uh, we'd like to wish both teams uh, luck, and we'd like to thank both uh, high schools for their cooperation. And for everyone, uh, I'd like to say good night and good luck to both teams.